countries such as Jamaica and any other pursue to take advantages of the opportunities and to position themselves to gain in the future trading arena. Wearing the hat that I do, you will understand my focus on policies and strategies that will increase competitiveness of local firms. It is my view that governments ought to pursue policies and incentives that will incentivize exporting firms, especially SMEs, to ensure that their business models address needs of the modern consumer. And the modern consumer has a high expectation of new products and services. They require real-time information and speedy delivery of goods and services. Now, lessons that we learn from the, financial, the global crisis is that financial crises are inevitable. Countries, therefore, need to be prepared. Policies and institutions must be sound and supportive of growth and development of the export sector. There is also the issue of the digital divide, and policies will have to be implemented, well crafted and implemented to deal with the digital divide. And this divide is characterized by a number of elements, including unequal access to and use of information and communication technology at both the national and international levels. These will have to be addressed both nationally and internationally. Um, my own country, in response to this, has put in a national competitive um, committee under the watch of the Ministry of Industry, Investment and, and Commerce. It was operationalized at the start of 2010. It has specific responsibility for the coordination and driving of cross-functional and multi-agency strategies that seek to address impediments to establishing and doing business in Jamaica. So policies, policies that are sound, policies that are strategic, because that is what will assist in cushioning. Policies that deal with the digital device because of the context in which we are operating. Now, the future reflected here requires strong ICT institutional and physical infrastructure and an adjustment to business models in developing countries in order to adapt to such an environment. <clears throat> there is also the need for firms in developing countries to collaborate with their governments because you can't craft the kind of policy that is going to be strategic unless you have input from the firms who are going to be trading and who are going to be impacted. So I suggest that firms collaborate with their governments, not only to clarify the interest, but also to inform positions during negotiations of trading agreements. Very, very critical. Now, in order to create value for their exports, it is necessary for developing and least developed countries to pursue innovation policies that seek, among other things, to develop unique high-value added products, to facilitate investment in scientific research and technological advancements with a market-oriented focus, to regularly undertake technology foresight studies to improve and better prepare for changes in production processes and service delivery in export markets. Institutionalize formal mechanisms for monitoring of such innovation policy as those which exist in countries such as the People's Republic of China, such as the United Kingdom, and elsewhere. Um, now, I would um, also want to look at the role of aid for trade. What is the role of aid for trade in all of this? What elements, um, what is it that needs to be done? Now, given the substantial cost of implementing ICT enabling institutions and infrastructure, technical and financial assistance will be required to facilitate developing countries' smooth adjustment to the dynamic global marketplace. 
technical cooperation and financial assistance would be required to, among other things, improve the ITC enabling infrastructure in developing and least developed countries to the extent that underserved rural areas secure access and become more fully integrated into the global information society. Also strengthen the legal and regulatory framework and institutions to guarantee the sustainability and dynamism of the operation of ICT enabling institutions and to enhance the physical ICT enabled infrastructure to be on par with international standards. So technical assistance is needed. It is needed in the form of um, development of trade financing mechanisms. It is needed because in order to continuously strengthen national and regional trade promotion organizations in the developing world. How am I doing for time? Just about. So in the context of this digital era, I'd just like to share with you some of the initiatives been done in Jamaica, undertaken in Jamaica in facilitating export to the advantage of new market opportunities. We have established export centers and business information points, the EC BIPs, across the country, as well as community access points, CAPs, in a number of communities. The export centers and BIPs were established under the just concluded EU Government of Jamaica funded private sector development program, and they are operated under three umbrella agencies within the country. JAMPRO, and interestingly, JAMPRO was once headed by Ms. Francis. Um, the Jamaica Business Development Center, the Jamaica Export Agency. The centers are mostly set up in partnership with the private sector and sector intermediaries. So for those who reside in countries where this is not yet done, or where there are rural population that um, uh, without access. This is something that you can look at. We also have cyber cafes and kiosks established by private interest across the islands. There is the Jamaica Trade Point, which is a trade facilitation portal linking local trade facilitation agencies as well as links to other trade points globally through the World Trade Point Federation online website. JTP is a public-private sector e-trade facilitation initiative involving the creation of a trade facilitation portal designed to enable Jamaican producers and exporters to carry out their trade-related transactions. The challenges are many, but fortunately, we have technology on our side. Um, much work needs to be done. Much work needs to be done means that the role of institutions like the ITC, like UNCTAD, like the WTO, remain very, very relevant. Um, I will conclude my, my remarks here, and we can take it up with questions and answers. Thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my great pleasure to be in this forum in order to share some of my views on the topic of thinking ahead and planning for tomorrow. But in the presence of uh, such a distinguished uh, panelist and audience, I had better speak from the perspective of my country, Laos. Uh, the purpose is uh, trying to replicate lessons and experience if possible, for countries of similar conditions on how to adapt to changing world marketing environment. I will focus on three key points. Firstly, trade in services, potential for developing countries. Secondly, South-South trade evolution. And thirdly, achieving impact from aid for trade. It's really inspiring to observe that emerging economies have overcome better the impact of world economic crisis. For a landlocked uh, LDC like Laos, we have been looking for ways uh, to develop our economy, but strategies to do so cannot be copied from other countries.